Ah, just as a reminder, um, remember that you can download any graphic that you create with Flourish. So, for instance, if I wanted to use this map on a print publication, I could go to the Export and Publish option here on the upper right corner, download the image, and then give it a name. By the way, before I do that, it's usually a good idea to name your projects, right? Untitled Visualization is not a great name for a project. So I'm going to call these Map of the World or something like that, Map of the World, whatever you want, right? So once you do that, that will, that will be the name used to store your project um, in your shelf. Uh, so now I have the name. I go to Export and Publish. I click on Download Image. I want to download the image. I can give it a, a size. All right, I'm, going to, I'm not going to change that. The file is going to be named like the project, but you can change that map of the world. You can change that if you want. And then you can change the format. Let's make it SVG because I want this file to be editable. I'm going to click on download and automatically it's going to save the map on my downloads folder. It's over here. I can drag it and drop it as I did before onto Adobe Illustrator. And there you go, we have our map, right? So I can erase, for instance, the the background color or make the background color lighter so you can see what's going on right if i click on command y you will be able to see all the all the boundaries of all countries right so i could use this on my own compositions i could label it and whatever right as you can see by the way there are there are missing data points right so the the, the missing data points will be shown like these with this con kind of a diagonal line pattern right so these are missing data points on the data set unfortunately there's there's little that we can do about these other than going back to the data source and see if we can find data for these countries for this particular year. Anyway, let's go back to the gap map, sorry, to the Flourish a project and let's do something more interesting. Right now we are just visualizing children per woman, but remember that we wanted to visualize children per woman, life expectancy, and perhaps other variables. First of all, before we do that, by the way, let me change the color palette because I believe that orange is a little bit too aggressive a color palette. Right, for these kinds of topics, I, I would never use red, for example. That's way too aggressive. Unless I'm, that I'm doing a map about concentration of vampires all over the world, I would discourage using reds in a map like this. So let's use a more neutral color, soothing color, such as blues, or blue, for example, or perhaps greens. Right. So let's try to find something that's a little bit more, a little bit more neutral. Right. Um, for example, that, that one is not bad. I kind of like that one, right? So let's find one that we that you enjoy, right? For example, that one or I don't know, that one. Um, all right, that's not bad, right? But I'm going to just stick to this one, right? So I'm going to use that one. Let's go back to the data up here, right? To the data because we're going to tell the software to visualize more than one variable, right? Right now it's visualizing only children per woman, but let's say that you want to visualize also. Uh, body mass index, uh, number of cell phones per person, CO2 emissions, whatever, right? So fortunately, on the values area, most of the templates in, in Flourish, not all of them, but most of the templates, let you select more than one column. And you do it this way. Uh, right now, we only have selected G, but let's suppose that besides children per woman, we also want uh, infant mortality, for example, which is O, right? So I'm going to click on here, up to the G, I'm going to add a comma, space, and I'm going to write a uppercase O. The next one that I'm going to visualize is, let's say, life expectancy, which is column R. So I'm going to click on here, comma, space, R. Then I want to show uh, population density. Let's say the population density is U, right? So that I'm going to put here U. All right, so you can add as many colors as you want. And now let's see what happens on the map. Let's go back to the preview. And you will notice that Flourish has added a menu up here that lets you switch between the different columns that you selected. So right now you're seeing infant mortality and then you're seeing life expectancy. Right? As you can see that Flourish does, makes a very nice um, a animated transitions between the maps that we have created. Again, we could change these to beans, whatever, instead of a continuous scheme, right? We could, oh, by the way, I forgot to add my last column over here. So it's O, R, and then a, I'm going to add, for example, population growth. Okay, so T, right? And then I'm going to back to go back to preview. And now we have ma many options over here: population growth, etc. Now this menu that you have over here, so you can see immediately which countries are growing and which countries are reducing their population. Not many of them are growing very rapidly, as far as I as can see. This is three. All right, we could use a, a completely different color scheme here to see the data a little bit better. Anyway, so you can change this controller. Okay, this menu app item over here right now is a it's a drop down menu, but you can change that. So if you go to controls here on the right, uh, by default, um, it's going to use a 
auto, we, auto it will automatically create a drop-down menu, but you can use a slider or you can use a button group. Okay, if, they click, if I click on button group, it will create buttons. Okay, and actually this is the option that I selected uh, for here. Okay, I use a couple of buttons that people can navigate with, but it could be a drop-down menu, obviously. Okay, that's completely your choice. Or you can use a slider. Okay, this is not very appropriate for this particular case, but for example, if we had created maps year by year, right? Um, then this could be a, a good way. Actually, our next little exercise is going to use a slider like this to show data uh, year by year. In this case, it's, I think that either the drop, button, drop, drop down menu or the buttons are a little bit more uh, appropriate. Okay, so the, the map is ready to go. Okay, I could, I could add um, some, some legend. Okay? I, can, I, could, I could customize that a little bit more if I wanted to. Um, uh, you can change, by the way, I forgot to mention that, but you can change the projection or uh, you have several projections here that you can play with, right? That's a little bit weird, right? Uh, but there are several ones that are available over here, and the Flourish theme probably are going to uh, add more um, uh, later on, because right? the, the tool is being updated uh, uh, constantly, right? So now that you are ready to uh, publish your publish your project, uh, you can just I'm gonna just change these to, for example, Hobo Dyer, for example. Let's do something crazy like that, right? So um, once you're ready to publish your project, if you want to publish it online, remember that if you're using the free version, you can, you can either download the image and use it in, on your print project, but if you want to make it interactive and on your website, you can publish it. Let's publish it, and then that will generate some HTML that you can copy and paste on your own website, or if you're using the a completely um, the, the, the paid for version, um, you can download the HTML and then just uh, upload it to your own servers.